Good morning, guys. Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. I am awake. I am awake. Um, it is 4.45 in the morning. My last alarm just went off. It said, leave the room now, so I have to do that. I've got 15 minutes exactly to get across from this building to the next, which isn't that far, and then downstairs for my 5 a.m. shuttle. We get a little uh, grab-and-go breakfast here at this time of day, which usually includes an uncrustable uh, little PB&J sandwich, which are yummy. Uh, and then, um, yeah, we're doing work. I can't even talk. I am so tired. <gasps> I've got a caffeine drink in my bag. I'm going to be taking that in the car, in the shuttle. Uh, we're going to San Diego, back to Oakland, and then to Las Vegas. So three very short legs, but it's still a fairly long duty day when you take into account boarding, deplaning, boarding, deplaning, and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, yeah, let's get to that shuttle. I will see you at the airport. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> I just want a sticker in my suitcase. All right. Bye, honey. Here we are at the airport. Connor's wife has to go through regular TSA. It's probably faster right now than going through KCM, but KCM is down here in the corner. There's a little black phone. You pick up the phone, they go, hello. <laughs> and then, oh, someone's there. Look at that. Someone's already here. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but Don't Go Chasing Waterfalls is playing in the background. And I always think of Deanne Ford when I yeah, hear that song. But uh, I did not get randomed once on this whole trip. It's like a magic trick. So happy. Uh, and I got at this uh, Oakland coffee something or other at the airport here. I got this Asian noodle salad, which just looks so yummy. And it's got my favorite type of disposable fork, which actually I use over and over again. You know you're a flood attendant when you have your favorite plastic cutlery. <laughs> just, it's a fact. I will see you uh, in uh, San Diego. All right, see you soon. Hey guys, hi, welcome to San Diego. It's an exciting day out there. <laughs> Our, our pilot right there. Um, hey, how are you? So what a nice flight. One hour, 11 minutes, 44 passengers. Uh, of course, they were all crammed into the same section. And for some reason, the uh, computer just put them all in the same like five or six rows on the entire aircraft. So thankfully, I was able to move some people around, keeping them in their zones for weight and balance issues. But uh, it was nice to give them some space. They were they appreciated it. Speaking of appreciating something, oh my goodness. I know that I've talked, I've spoken highly of a number of flight attendants I've worked with over the years, but these two guys, Antonio and Connor, I love them. They're such good men. They're just good guys. You know, just, just good, good, good men. Uh, it was a real pleasure to meet Connor's wife. I hold him in very high regard. He's such a nice guy. Uh, and so it was a pleasure, a real pleasure to meet his wife. But uh, these two guys, they're fantastic. I don't buddy bid with anybody. I would buddy bid with, with either of them. Um, I probably don't anticipate it because, I don't know, you buddy bid with someone and then all of a sudden you like, you drop, you swap, and suddenly you work one trip with that person, right? So who's going to bother buddy, buddy bidding? But I would buddy bid with them. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I have no idea what to expect out of this next flight, but it should be pretty light going back to Oakland. And then one like back home to Las Vegas, I should be back by about one. I have to go to the post office to remind myself to go to the post office. I have to pay my P.O. box fee. It's like $122 for six months. Um, what else do I have to do? Oh. I have to look for a, a CD, a book on CD I sold on eBay for like $16. I have no idea where it is. But um, let's let's get through the work day before I start worrying about finding that thing. All right, I will see you in Oakland. Oh, hey guys, hi, welcome back to Oakland. Uh, 40 something passengers on board for that flight, uh, just over one hour just fine no issues no problems nice and easy 
Uh, the only challenge I'm facing is this noodle, Asian noodle salad bowl that I had for lunch. Oh, that's the hardest part of my day right now. But, got some time, so it should be good. We're just waiting for our new chaser, and then I think we have like a full flight going back to Las Vegas, but I'm going home. I have two days off, super excited. Uh, and what else, what else? Um, I just got a confirmation email from work that um, there's a, a group of us that are gonna volunteer for Habitat for Humanity. On the 18th, we're gonna work on a house, I guess, doing uh, light construction. They're looking for people who know how to frame houses. I don't, but I can learn. Uh, and uh, we're gonna do some landscaping and then potentially paint somebody's house. So uh, that'll be on the 18th. So I'll bring you along there as well. But uh, yeah, it's been a nice day so far. I am really ready for a nap. Uh, my eyes were like rolling in my sockets uh, upon landing here. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm Meg Kevin looking down the front and our gate agent really wants to start boarding but we're missing our chaser uh, so we, we can't board without a full complement of crew and she is not liking it right now uh, but uh, I'm feeling ever so much better with my Tums thank God um, just watching a little Cloud Surfer Andy. Do you guys watch Cloud Surfer Andy? She is a, a South African regional um, uh, charter flight attendant and she is one of my favorite people in the universe I've never met her before uh, but I watch all of her videos and I just I just I just can't get enough of her uh, and she does a vlog style sort of like mine just sort of you know what her life uh, what she does for work and I just love watching her but um, she watches my videos and it's kind of funny uh, she's, you know, all the way in South Africa and then once in a great while she's like, oh, what does Steven Pereira say? And I'm like, w what? <laughs> it's like a celebrity says my name and it's just, I don't know, I think very highly of uh, Miss Andy. But, uh, yeah, it's just weird. If you don't watch her, you should. You should subscribe. Cloud Surfer Andy. She is amazing and gorgeous and well-spoken and kind. So you should watch her. Um, yeah, I will, uh, I'll see you guys later. We have our chaser yet? No. Yeah, all right. See you guys later. Oh, hey guys, how are ya? Welcome back to Las Vegas. Welcome back to my car. Shimi, I am, I could not be happier to get off that airplane. I could not be happier to get off that aircraft. Oh my God. Um, I'll tell you about that in a moment. So it is 2.13 in the afternoon. Um, I woke up at 4.15 uh, to get my shuttle at 5. So it's been like a, it's already been a 10 hour day already and it's just 2, you know, 2.14 in the afternoon. So I'm a little tired. I didn't sleep well last night. I got in bed about 8. I got to sleep probably close to 10. Could not get to sleep and I woke up at like midnight then 12 30 and i'm like oh I, I still have some time to sleep and i woke up at one and then it was like 1 30 i'm like well i got i got a little time to sleep and i just really didn't sleep uh so i'm gonna be taking a nap later on when i get home uh it is october 11th which uh was my mother's birthday it's not a day i celebrate because i didn't like her um she's gone now um but uh it's also national coming out day I believe and uh, I, not that I need that day to come out as I've been out for a while but yay um, I got a card I suspect this is from Ms. BS as she has uh, the, the very sweet habit of sending me lovely cards I was right uh, Halloween just wouldn't be complete without a haunted house or a black cat or a gloomy night isn't that cute and a full moon. It's a little werewolf giving you the moon. How cute is that? Thank you, sweetheart. I did get your card just today. <sighs> Along with some cat treats from Amazon. Uh, so today, oh my God. Uh, today was very nice. It was so easy. The first two legs of the day were so easy. If you're a flight attendant, you know the most difficult part of your, your trip, right? It's the last leg 
on go home day. It's always the last leg go home day. Well, uh, it was uh, roughly an hour flight from Oakland here to Las Vegas. What could go wrong? Uh, we were completely, well, pretty much full. We were almost completely full. Um, we were probably, I, uh, we were approaching the airport. It's a little turbulent. We're doing this. Uh, my coworker, uh, Connor, got up, gentleman that he is, to give someone a trash bag because they are going to throw up. And so, you know, it's, it was actually pretty dangerous, I think, to be up. There was there was quite a bit of turbulence. Uh, and he got some tissues and he brought that over and that person threw up. And then another person threw up. Uh, so we got another bag. And then uh, another person asked for a bag because they were going to throw up. And, you know, I seem to talk about vomit a lot on my channel. Um, so a number of people got sick. Uh, upon you know approaching the airport we got right down just above the ground when a plane seems to hover for a moment there's crosswinds happening in Vegas today so the wind is pretty significant uh, and the pilot later on was telling me the wind was behaving as if you know those games those those vending machines that have a claw that come down and grab the toy and bring it up well the crosswinds we're actually lifting the aircraft, uh, which is not great when you're trying to land. And uh, <laughs> so we had an aborted landing. And I think I've only experienced two, maybe three aborted landings in the past six and a half years. That's when the plane, when the pilot chooses, decides it is not safe to land the aircraft. And it's at the very last moment. Uh, so you know, whoosh, the engines, uh, you know, hit and we go up uh, pretty quickly and uh, abruptly. And it's surprising to the crew, but the passengers don't know what's going on. Uh, and so Connor, of course, because he's looking down the aisle, I'm facing the bathroom. He could see everyone being very, very um, nervous. And so he made a little announcement, letting us, letting them know what was going on. It was very well done. Uh, and... Uh, those people who had been throwing up threw up again and then call bells started going off we handed out probably a dozen trash bags because those little paper bags aren't very good targets um and tissues and paper towels and stuff like that uh, we must have handed out a dozen of them people from like from mid cam and back uh, there just seemed to be sporadically all over the place people throwing up and the um I really don't want to uh, give you too many details. There was a lot of texture happening uh, and in a very impressionist way, fashion. Uh, and the aroma was um, disturbing. It was disturbing. I, I, I'm not triggered by that when I, when I, if I, but uh, there, there was a moment where the, the two of us in the back were like, <sighs> <laughs> oh, um, it bad. It was bad, and um, and landing was still pretty turbulent. But people were, um, yeah, it was all over. There's this poor, this poor man was sitting next to a young girl, a young lady who uh, got sick, and it happened all over his leg, and and somehow on the other leg that wasn't even facing her. You know those guys that have like white, white, white sneakers? They keep their sneakers super, super white, like they're white, brand new white. He's he's gonna have to change those uh, those shoelaces. <laughs> I mean, it was all over. So I'm gonna stop. Um, but I the the um, I'm trying to just get it out of my nose. The smell. So I have a nice coffee, which is kind of helping. Uh, I'm going to be able to take a nap. I'm going to be able to sleep after this. I just, I'm so tired. Um, I think that's it for the day. I think I'm not going to make a very long video today. I'll stop talking about vomit. You're welcome. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that could potentially happen uh, that would be worth filming. I just really need to get home, see the cats, give them some treats, apologize for being gone for so long, uh, and then take a nap. I just need to take a nap. And I think that's gonna be the rest of my day for Vlogmas. So 
Uh, happy coming, National Coming Out Day. Happy Vlogtober. And um, yeah, I'm going to say goodbye to you guys for the day. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Fly safe. Bye.